My name is Jim Pepker. The pictures you were viewing were taken by me while I was a photographer reporting on the events of the Civil Rights Movement for the Southern Courier, a nonprofit weekly paper covering Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia from 1965 until 1968. I had joined the paper in May of 65, inspired by the stories and words of many Americans then struggling in the South to end a system of segregation and oppression of citizens of color that many of us saw as inconsistent with truth as well as of the founding principles of America. Of the many people of that time and place whom I photographed, Martin Luther King Jr. stood out. His words and actions resonated in my heart and mind as most clearly appreciating our common and united heritage. In 1968, when Martin Luther King's life was ended by an assassin, his death left a void and silence in my heart that eventually compelled me to leave the South, and the funeral of Dr. King was to be one of the last events I would cover for The Courier. But even from the casket, King continued to educate me. In Atlanta, on that April 9th, I witnessed a gathering of so many, of such diversity of color and culture, that my heart was informed of how completely and inclusively American had been the message of King's words and actions in life. King's claim on our hearts and minds should always be that Americans are one family, and that loving nonviolence is the only method of resolving conflict within any family that hopes to stay united. And even he was further challenging us to see that even our own sense of appropriate rules, privileges, and entitlements as Americans is long overdue to be appropriately expanded to include the entire worldwide human family of all peoples and nations. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal.